Hello, welcome to the new series of tutorials on OpenOffice Impress. So, before we start learning about Impress, we should know why uh, one should choose it instead of um, Microsoft Office, so Microsoft PowerPoint. So, there are many reasons. First of all, Impress is free. OpenOffice, you can go to their website and download it for free. Then it's ideological. Uh, personally, I prefer free and open source. So software to proprietary software and then um, you've got many many plugins for impress and for open office um, components in general that can um, save up a lot of time so these are the three main reasons so um, first of all we should know how to open of course um, the software so there are many ways to do that uh, one of them is to go and find the software like that, OpenOffice Impress, or you can use the general or generic or whatever OpenOffice graphical interface. So let's go like that, and you've got this window, and then you can choose presentation, or you can if you're already working on an open office document something like that if I'm working um, with open office calc I can just go file um, new presentation and I go directly to impress this is the main window that opens up when you create a new file so for the time being I'm going to choose empty presentation in another tutorial we're going to find out how to use uh, templates how to download templates how to modify them etc and then blah 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 you've got a preview if you don't want this window to appear each time you can just go and check this one and then you just go create and I've got the main interface for impress so the native file format for impress is ODF so if I save it it goes directly the default um, option is ODP sorry um, there you go and of course you can uh, save it as a PowerPoint and other stuff or you've got a template etc the other options I've never used them so I don't know what they they are um, they are full but yeah whatever so this is the main interface um, like with every other software you've got the menu bar so file edit blah 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 you've got the toolbar and then you've got the status bar here with the zoom um, and then you've got some generic information that is the total number of um, slides this is the current slide number and you've got yeah the rest of it so this is a page that we call a slide in um, impress lingo this is the list of all the slides you have already created and this is a task pane that goes you can just hide it like that and we're gonna see about that um, in the next videos what you really need to understand about uh, writing a document or presenting, preparing a presentation, uh, I've been saying this over and over again in most of my tutorials, is that uh, when you prepare a document, you've got two phases. You've got the writing phase and the formatting phase. So you should always be aware of that the two phases are distinct, separate. So do not try to format your text while writing the content because it's a bit disconcerting and distracting so for example if I go and choose my title like that we're gonna see the next videos how to um, create content and I create a new slide this is how you create a slide you just go right click new slide you can also delete and rename blah 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 so this is the second slide I choose a title and I said, okay, I've got the ideas. Let's say that. Why I love spring. So I've got many reasons to 
to talk about, um, to present here, and instead of continue writing um, like that, it's warm, blah, 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 instead of doing that, I start saying, okay, I'm gonna do it um, Arial 28, yeah, I like to be underlined, no, I don't like it underlined, then I want it italic, or no, I want it green, or whatever, so you're forgetting what you want to talk about, so um, this is not very practical and it has been proved over and over again by psychologists that um, it takes you time to um, to go from one task to another uh, to recuperate if you want and to become effective at 100% and of course another thing is as you saw um, a few seconds earlier I just formatted my text uh, by hand so I chose the text and then I did uh, I pressed the buttons and whatever I clicked on the buttons um, this is another thing that you have to understand is that no manual labor should be done while using a computer or a, the least amount possible so this is how we're gonna learn how to use templates and how to uh, use uh, styles etc because we want to save time if you don't want to save time do your presentation with you know slides by hand and and turn your computer off